Hello, my name is Mario. Welcome to another system design in Go video. In today's episode, I'm sharing with you how to implement a gRPC service, specifically a client streaming RPC. So, what is a gRPC client streaming RPC? It is a second streaming RPC type supported by gRPC and consists of clients writing a sequence of messages and sending them to the server using a provided stream. Let's look at the implementation of this example. As usual, the link to this example will be in the description of this video, so feel free to check that out. What I'm going to be doing first is update the wearable service proto. I'm going to be adding a new RPC called consume bit per minute. It's going to be receiving a stream consume bit per minute. And it's going to be returning a consume bits per minute response. Now what we have to do next is implement those two messages. So we go down here. We implement a message for the first that is going to be received as a stream. This stream is going to be including values such as UUID, which will be a string. The field tag name will be. Uh, we need a UIN32 for the value. A UIN32 for the minute. And another message that includes uh, the response will be just a UIN32 will be a total. So with this in place, what we have right now is these fields. We have this RPC and we have these two messages right here that implement that RPC. Remember, we need to pass in a stream keyword similarly to what we did before with the return of the stream in the server streaming RPC that we did in the previous video. What we have to do next? Well, we can run buff lint to confirm everything is fine, buff generate and then double generate the code that we need to implement for the server. One important bit is right here with this file. If we do a git diff of this file, you will notice what was added and what we'll be needing to implement in our server, which is specifically is this method. So we're going to copy this implementation and implement it in the server that we did before in the previous example. For doing that, we need to open the examples server wearable service and then just go and paste what we copied before. We're going to return nil for now. And this will be the wearable service. We need a wearable PV, which is this type, and this will be the stream. So we're going to be returning that. If we compile it, everything should be fine. Because we're going to be limiting a stream, we need to implement the four. So maybe we'll return nil up here. Next, what we have to do is receive the stream from, from the value from the stream. So we do stream receive the returns a value. So it's an error. If error is different than nil, what we have to do first is check if the error is an error IOF. If it's an error IOF, we return uh, send and close. That includes the response that we defined previously in the protocol buffers called consume bits per minute response and basically a total, which in the case in this case will be the total that of many messages that we receive. So for doing that, we need to implement a variable called total, which will be an int. We're going to just increase it. And we're going to be using it here, just to indicate that is the value that we need. Now for this example, we're not going to be doing anything outside of just printing out the value that we have received. So get minute, value, get UUID, value, get value. And obviously, if there is an error different than nil, that is not IOF, we just return the error. So I made two mistakes previously in the server implementation, and this is because first we need to change what we had before as a different IOEOF. That means, okay, when is IOEOF, it means it's closed, so we need to return the value, not when it's different. And obviously, we don't have to return right away because this means we only receive one message, not all of them. So with this, if we run the server, everything should be okay. There are no errors, there is no output, so we need now to implement the client. For doing that, I already implemented a really basic client. Now what we're going to be doing is actually implementing the call to this server so we can see the two working together. So the bare bones of this client is implemented in the examples. Streaming client main. And with this have is just a basic implementation of the things that we need for setting up the server, basically for connecting and whatnot. And this is not the important part. 
the important part will be actually using the client that we just generated using the protocol buffer. So we call client consume clients per minute. And this method includes a few important things like the wearable stream that we're going to be using for sending the data and a error. So let's call this one. So returns a stream, returns an error. With that, now we are going to be using something that we did previously in the server stream in RPC video. So we do a stream, send, and we're going to be sending the message that we want to send will be a message wearable request. For now, your UID will be just random stuff. Value will be one and minute will be one. This returns an error. So if there is an error, we use call fatal end for now. Because we're implementing an RPC, uh, or rather a streaming RPC, we're going to be using a for use for demonstration purposes. So we're going to be sending 10 messages to the server and we're going to convert in that value and also we're going to convert in that value because we want to do something with it. Now that we are done with it, we need to actually close the connection to the server. For doing that, we have to implement the following, which is calling there is this method stream closed and send and receive because remember we are actually expecting to receive the total of messages that we sent to the server so for doing that we get a, a response an error if there is an error again we are going to fatal f just for simplicity and we just print ln the value of the response so we'll be get total what I want to be adding next in the four above is just a timer so it can sleep a little bit. So time sleep. So time millisecond. So what it's going to be doing is going to be sending 10 messages for each one of the messages will be sent every one millisecond, 100 milliseconds. And that's pretty much what it is. Let's see it, both things in action. So if we go back to our server and we rerun this again, and then we run our client, we should see the client working as expected. You see, we receive the 10 messages with the values multiplied, it's always the same UUID, and then we receive on the server side the response, or rather on the client side, the response that we were expecting. And this is it, that's how you implement the gRPC client streaming RPC in Go. Thank you for watching, and I will talk to you next time. Take care, stay safe, see you.